Hey YouTube, Glock Ninja here. How's everybody doing? Another video. Uh, I wanted to touch bases with this uh, subject about uh, the Tomb Raider game, the next Tomb Raider game being exclusive to Microsoft. And now that uh, all the press is saying that uh, it's a timed release and then eventually it'll come to the other platforms, but they don't know how long the time exclusivity will last. Um, that's good news. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that t we're all going to be able to experience Tomb Raider uh, game. Uh, I'm a big fan of Tomb Raider. I'm going to be honest with y'all. If I had to pick between Uncharted, Tomb Raider, and The Last of Us, I would pick Tomb Raider all day. Okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I love Uncharted. I love Last of Us. The Last of Us was a excellent game, mostly because it had a very good storyline. Okay, um, I mean it wasn't a, a sophisticated story. It wasn't a uh, you know uh, story that uh, was very different. Uh, it it was almost like the way they told the story made the game. And it was a well-directed, well-constructed game. Okay, uh, Uncharted, uh, same thing. Okay, but when it comes to actual gameplay, no one compares to Laura Croft. Come on now, she can backflip, jump, uh, duck, crawl, climb, uh, shoot. Shoot, shoot her guns, you know, uh, while running. Uh, you know, the gameplay is unmatched. Now, that goes back to the current state of Tomb Raider, which I'm sorely disappointed in. I like the last Tomb Raider game. Don't get me wrong, I liked it. But it was, it followed more in the lead of Uncharted. It is followed in the footsteps of like Uncharted. You know, Laura was not as acrobatic. She couldn't do the backflips. She she barely could do the running and gunning. Uh, if you if you compare Laura Croft, current Laura Croft, to the Laura Croft of yesterday, like uh, play, PlayStation One Laura Croft or PlayStation Two Laura Croft. Th those Laura Crofts from that era, I mean, r run r run circles around Laura today, okay? So, uh, Crystal Dynamics, please, get your shit together. Bring back our old Laura Croft. I want to see her more acrobatic. I want to be able to see her running gun better, um, you know, and, uh... I, I I just think that uh, you know they could improve the gameplay a little bit better, you know. But with that said, I'm glad that the next Tomb Raider game is going to be coming to the PlayStation 4. I I'll patiently wait for it. I don't care if it comes on the Xbox One first. I'll wait for it. No problems. There are many many other games that I could be playing while I'm waiting for Tomb Raider. One of the games that I'm I'm anticipating is Daylight, and the other one is uh, Silent Hill. I would love to get my hands on those two games right now. But anyway, uh, many of you Xbox fans have criticized Sony uh, at at Gamescom that they were presenting more indie games than exclusive AAA titles. Uh, uh, I'll be honest with you I think that Sony um, If they didn't talk about it Or presented it I think they're coming up with more exclusives And more games Than Xbox ever will In the next year or two Okay so uh, Whatever Sony revealed at Gamescom you could You could be assured that They're going to get more games than we been told uh from from now to next year 
Okay, so And you know what Even if if you don't get that many games From now to next year You know uh, Knowing Sony history The longevity Is going to be much better On the Playstation Than on the Xbox Because we all know After first two or three years The uh, uh, consoles uh, Come out And is released Xbox uh, surely but slowly and uh, 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 inevitably stops producing exclusives. Okay, they'll start. They'll keep getting the multiplats like you know everybody else, and that's why they call it multiplat. They'll still get the Battlefield 4 and the Call of Duty and all this and that. But when it comes to exclusivity, we all know. That after two years or three years at the most, they just stop making exclusives, okay, or getting exclusives. And what is what really confuses me is that Microsoft is a software company. So if they if if they took their gaming division more seriously, you would think that they would create their own development developing. Uh, software uh, game developing uh, companies and they would uh, make their own divisions where they're solely dedicated not to the the, the, the operating system or the uh, serious PC side but uh, they, they would you know portion out a portion of their company to just making games you know but they don't because they don't take this shit serious folks this is to them, they are the fucking casual gamers. Because that's what they try to turn a hardcore console into a fucking casual multimedia device. Okay? And it backfired on them. Okay? X, the original Xbox, I have respect for the original Xbox. Because when that was released, that was a fucking hardcore gaming machine. That was all about. Gaming, okay, online gaming. Uh, it was all about the serious graphics. It was all about the getting, the raising the bar, okay. It was almost trying to get up to that PC level, okay. But you know, it being a console, it was still limited for its time. But anyway, I have respect for the original Xbox because that's what it tried to be, and the Xbox 360 came along. Uh, it got improved, but unfortunately the hardware was not reliable, and they had issues with that. And uh, but they were still able to come out with some couple of uh, good titles, Gears of War, that saved that console. Basically, if it wasn't for Gears, Gears of War, the Xbox 360 would be dead on arrival. Okay, no questions, uh, no questions in my mind. Uh, but anyway. Um, this Xbox One is a joke. It is. It's a joke. Okay. They t they they have taken a step backwards, basically, towards being more like Nintendo as far as when it comes to gaming, because their hardware is not as powerful. Okay. They didn't focus on hardware power. They focused in on this connect shit. Okay. And the multimedia function shit. And it just fell apart on them nobody wanted that shit they wanted to be able to play some kick ass games okay and then they find out okay that their competitor Sony is has put out a better piece of hardware a stronger piece of hardware a, capable of performing better so they're now taking PS4 or the Playstation name brand more seriously as, as a more serious gaming device than the Xbox now. So, Microsoft, you need to really tighten your shit up. Everybody's praising the leadership of Microsoft, yet everything Microsoft is doing right now is bullshit. So, obviously, they're not doing the right things, okay? But anyway, I'm uh, really looking forward to the next couple of years. Uh, I think... Uh, 
uh, PlayStation 4 is going to get some games that uh, is going to uh, just blow everybody's minds, okay? Just like the PlayStation 3 did uh, with uh, The Last uh, of Us, you know? They, I mean, let's face it, you know, just when you think it's almost over. PlayStation always comes back, comes at you with a title that you just say, "Oh wow!" You know, just just like PlayStation Two, God of War. Uh, you know, um, uh, Colossus. You know, and uh, uh, well, uh, Eco. Well, Eco was like a game that came out. You know earlier, but you know I mean just uh, I mean you y- you never stop getting really good games with the PlayStation brand, okay? And with the Xbox, it's so predictable. Like I said, after its first two or third year, you're done. And the only thing you can really expect to play on those uh, uh, on on the Xbox now is the multiplats, Call of Duty, you know, Battlefield. You know, that's about it. You know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give me your opinion. What do you think?